Today, Fast Forward is visiting White Oak Pastures, the biggest organic farm in the state of Georgia. And there's some people I want you to meet. I'm Will Harris. I own White Oak Pastures. I'm Jenny Harris, the marketing manager. I'm Trip Eldridge. I'm the organic farm manager. I'm John, the, the, the farmer's daughter. Anyone else? The farmer's daughter. You know, <laughs> this could be one heck of an episode. Welcome back to Fast Forward. Today, I want you to forget what you've heard about modern farming, because the state of this art is a little different. I'll let the owners tell you about it. White Oak Pastures is our family farm, started by my great-grandfather in 1866. White Oak Pastures is located in Bluffton, Georgia, in the southwest corner of the state. It employs 85 full-time employees, and People can be found doing anything from repairing tractors to mastering the, the skill of butchery to crunching numbers and accounting to fulfilling orders and online sales. Through the 146 years we've been in business, we have been a sustenance farm focused on humane uh, animal handling and environmental sustainability gone industrial and now are back, refocused on good animals and land stewardship. Sounds like a business passed down from generation to generation. Our business was born on the internet. Come again? Even though what we do is very, very old, we do embrace technology. Technology is a really big part of what we do at White Oak Pastures. Social media is a huge part of our marketing. We have an online website where you can go and you can purchase all your products from our online store. We do have a big solar voltaic array and an anaerobic digester and a really extensive scale and inventory system, but at the end of the day, everything's done with a man and a knife. Uh, and it's taken it back to that old art of true butchery. Which is a great way to introduce the first ever fast forward meatometer. You're the experts. Name as many cuts of meat as you can and go. Filet. Sirloin. Tri-tip. Ribeye. Uh, strip. Flank steak. Um, shank. Skirt steak. Oxtail. Trite. Runt roast. Ground beef. I'm out. <laughs> Neck bone, back bone. <laughs> and we have a winner. <laughs> Let's get back to work. Tell me more about the differences between your farm and most farms today. White Oak Pastures is a multi-species farm uh, that raises a, a broad range of different animals for meat. The entirety of the pasture on the farm is certified organic. We raise our livestock here in what's called the Serengeti Plains Rotational Grazing Model. What that means is big ruminants, in our case, cattle, followed by small ruminants, followed by birds. And we believe that good animal welfare means creating an environment in which animals are allowed to express their instinctive behaviors. What Will is talking about is monocultural versus polycultural farming. And if you're paying attention, you might see something coming. This Teachable Moment brought to you by White Oak Pastures. Monoculture is a real focus on raising one type of thing, whether it's just cattle or just chickens or just sheep. And then polyculture will be kind of the full gamut, raising several different types of species. Nature wants a whole cornucopia of plants and animals and microbes, each benefiting with symbiotic relationships with the others. And that's what we try to emulate here in the pastures. At Wild Oak, they let a chicken be a chicken and a cow be a cow and just let the animals do what they do and they're supposed to do. Well, it's good to know there's a place where cows and chickens can just relax and be themselves. And while we're kind of in the teachable moment mood, earlier you mentioned being sustainable. What does that mean? Sustainable agriculture is managing the land and the herds in a way that you do not diminish resources, do not uh, pollute, it's something that can operate in perpetuity without inputs that are diminishing and that won't cause a toxic problem in the environment. 
Sounds like that's one of the things that makes White Oak Pastures a great place to work. I was excited at the opportunity to be a part of such a great organization that really cared about the environmental sustainability and giving back to the land. Yes, good. What else do the employees like about this place? Our boss, man, he's <laughs> the greatest. Smart answer. On a serious note, uh, yeah, we are treated well. Anyone else? It has a family-friendly feel to it. The management of the farm has you know, so much integrity, and that means a lot, too. I just think of it as I'm getting a benefit of being paid money to just go do stuff I love. Doesn't make me feel like I'm going to work. It just, you know, feels like a, a good, fun day. I can't imagine having to wear a suit and sit in a cubicle. And for us, a lot, it should give me the headache. And, you know, to be able to wake up every morning, and as soon as you step out the door, you've made your commute. I can't imagine doing anything else. Wow, after an answer like that, neither can I. But that doesn't mean I'll stop looking for the best jobs in Georgia on the next episode of Fast Forward.